What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new NVIDIA app. It is August 19th, 2025, and NVIDIA has updated their app to enable global DLSS overrides as well as a DLSS version indicator in their overlay. I would be remiss if I didn't make this video because some of my most popular videos as of recent have been related to DLSS overrides. And the NVIDIA app might actually be the way to go moving forward. So we're going to take a look at it. The previous method that we used, or at least that I used on the channel, uh, has been NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Some people prefer DLSS Swapper, but I found this to be more effective as a set it and forget it thing. I've gone ahead into NVIDIA Inspector and made sure that everything related to DLSS overrides has been disabled. So it'll have absolutely no effect on DLSS overrides. As you can see, everything is uh, off. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the, again, off over here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the NVIDIA app update. So this newest version, 11. 0.5.238 was released today, August 19th, 2025. And I believe it'll only grant you this version if you opt in to access beta features. So if you want to update to this version, go ahead and enable that in your NVIDIA app and you should get a prompt to update the app. There's also a new driver version, 581.08, which coincides with the app update. So to access the DLSS override settings, you need to go to the graphics tab on the left here and then global settings. And you will find here DLSS override model presets. If you go ahead and click on this, instead of using the 3D application setting, there's going to be an override. And you could just click latest here to use the latest of everything, or you could customize each thing here. So you have two options to use the 3D application settings, which will default at the game's preset, or you could just go to latest. There's currently no other customization as far as that goes. So I'm just going to go latest on everything. You could also override the frame generation mode. I'm not sure if this is 50 series specific. I believe it is unless they've updated that, but you could change it to 3X or 4X. The default is 2X, which is the same on 40 series cards. You also have a DLSS override for super resolution mode, which is useful in games that don't have the preset that you're looking for. So if a game doesn't have, for example, the ultra performance mode, you could just set it to this and it should override that. Again, the keyword is should here because everything's in beta. It should work, but we're not 100% sure yet. You could also set a custom input resolution to render the game at in case you really, you know, you want to render this thing at 23%, you could go ahead and do that. Or if you want to render it at 99%, so you're not using DLAA, but you're getting the absolute most out of uh, DLSS4, you can also do that. For now, I'm going to leave that alone. I don't find that to be an issue in the games that I play. Another thing NVIDIA has added is DLSS information in the overlay. So if I enable my overlay here at the top, hopefully everything is large enough. I blew everything up to geriatric mode for the sake of the video. Uh, and I'm also going to crop it because I'm on ultra wide. But anyway, you're going to be able to see this at the top here, hopefully. And there is DLSS information there now. And you can customize what's being displayed by opening your NVIDIA statistics overlay settings and going to custom here. There are some presets. I like to use custom because I like to customize it. And then click on view all. You'll be able to select anything you want to see in the NVIDIA overlay, which comes in really useful. So these are the statistics I'm currently showing. The new section here is under features and you can enable all sorts of DLSS related settings here. So like I mentioned, this is currently all in beta. It's being tested. So, you know, your mileage is going to vary with results. I'm going to go ahead and swap this back to default, and I'm going to test a couple of games here. The first game I'm going to test is Forza Horizon 5. This runs an older version of DLSS, so I believe it's going to be DLSS 3, 3 point whatever, and it's going to use the uh, preset C. So I'm going to let the game launch here, and we'll take a look at that in a second. All right, so here we are in Forza Horizon 5. I'm just going to run this in windowed mode for the sake of the video, and as you can see on the bottom left of the game window, it's running... Render preset C, DLSS 3 point something. You can't see it there. This is the old overlay that I was using. I have a video on how to enable that. But I'll go into the game settings here. DLSS is on. It's on quality. DLAA is disabled and frame generation also disabled. Let's go ahead and enable them one at a time. So I'll enable DLAA here. So again, still preset C. Let's go ahead and enable frame generation. So yeah, as you can see on the top left of the game window now, DLSS G is enabled and we're still at preset c on the bottom left again i disabled the overrides in the app so that should be what we're seeing okay so now i'm going to enable the dlss override i'm just going to set everything to latest here and i'm going to run forza horizon again and check right back in all right so we're back in forza horizon 5 and i'm going to go ahead and enable dlss i'm going to keep uh dlaa and frame generation disabled 
And as you can see on the bottom left, it's now running render preset K, which is the latest preset uh, for DLSS. At the top, now the NVIDIA overlay is showing preset K. So everything seems to be working as it should be. Let's go ahead and check out DLAA as well as frame generation. So we'll do DLAA first. We'll keep frame gen off. Back in the game, still running preset K. The overlay, uh, the NVIDIA overlay says preset K as well, which is good. Let's go ahead and enable frame generation just to see if anything changes with the overlay. So now frame generation is enabled. The game still says preset K on the bottom left of the game window. The top does not indicate that frame generation override is enabled. So again, this is day one. It's, it's kind of in beta. So, you know, you're going to see a little issues like that. I find with the NVIDIA overlay, sometimes it says NA for even my FPS in some games, which I haven't really figured out yet, but it's working. It's preset K. And uh, the, the app override so far is working. Let's go ahead and test another game. I'm going to test out, I think, Battlefield 2042, because that also runs an older version of DLSS. So I'm going to change this back to use a 3D application setting and launch Battlefield 2042. All right, so here we are in Battlefield 2042. I'm starting to think that the windowed mode thing was a bad idea, but I'm already committed. So here we are. DLSS is on quality. Again, the overrides are off, as you can see on the overlay at the top. And it's kind of hard to see. Let me just get to the game here. On the bottom left of the screen, you can see it says preset C. And now the minimap is covering it. But uh, we are in preset C with the overrides off. I'm going to go ahead and quit the game, enable the overrides here relaunch the game and we'll check back in to see if they work all right so back in battlefield 2042 here on the bottom left of the game's window it does say preset k and at the top in the nvidia overlay it says preset k for the override so the override is working for battlefield 2042 so i also tested this with delta force which runs an older version of dlss and it worked for that those are three games i have installed that i could think of that run on older versions of dlss and each one updated to preset k which is the latest with this override here. So using the NVIDIA app may be the way moving forward. Inspector has been working great. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the overlay shows you exactly which version of DLSS you're running, but it does show you if the override is working, which is nice. And you could still enable the old overlay to see the exact version of DLSS that's running. If you're interested in that, I'll link my tutorial to that in the description. So that's going to do it for this video. Of course, if anything updates with this, I'll go ahead and make a new video. The older method with Inspector is still valid. It still works. So if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on that as well. But moving forward, this may be a more convenient way of doing it since it doesn't require any third-party apps. It's great to see these updates in the NVIDIA app. It seems like NVIDIA might actually be listening to us and adding the features that we're asking for little by little. And so far, this seems to be working. I'll probably test some more games that run older versions of DLSS and maybe make a whole video on that in the future. But yeah, so far it seems to be working. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.